Okay guys, the first sample of the fabric is here! Say hello! A bit of baby here. This is gonna be my filmer. <laughs> Wait, no samples once again, but just through a whole new supplier. Oh, the quality is good. Yeah, it's good. That's 180, that's big. So I feel like that just gives it a little bit more bizarre. Well guys, it's been a busy few days, hasn't it babe? Working oh. out a plan of attack, but we've gotten there. And honestly, sometimes things really do happen for a reason. Always. They really do. Um, we are working closely now with a supplier we have in Australia. So I feel like this is a great step forward and yeah, we're good to go. Back on track. We're back baby. <laughs> Wait, no samples once again, but just through a whole new supplier. Oh my gosh guys, it's early. What is it? It is the... Earlier than we thought, we're in May now, 12th of May, and it looks like our shirts have just turned up. So our first samples of the shirts, which actually came really quick, it's been like a week. So anyways, Kurt's run out to the shop to go pick them up. I've got to get Riggy Girl up, she's awake in her cot, so I've got to go get her. She's yelling out to me going, Mom! But I'll pick up the camera again once Kurt gets home! <laughs> okay, so this one, you've got to see which one's for which. So this is 180. So this is, this is 180. Oh, the quality is good. Yeah, it's good. That's 180, that's thick. I know, that's, that's it. <laughs> so that's the shirt. Oh, and see, it's the exact oversized thing. Hey, yo, look, this one. It's gonna be it. Okay. It's gonna be it. Yeah, shirt. Do you want to go a little bit smaller, Elia? Or like that? Probably that. Yeah? Can I have a look? It's the yeah, that's nice. Yeah, they did all this exactly how we wanted it. Oh, wow. That's so good. Okay, let's try the other one. So, what's the embroidery like? The other one? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is so nice. That's like absolutely perfect. Exactly. Exactly it. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. We just got some samples in, guys, of the dresses. Not of the color or the pattern or anything like that. That should be arriving early next week. But of the style of dresses. So what I've been doing is trying them all on and making notes on how I would adjust each piece and different ideas for the future. And I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes so you guys can understand how much effort and thought goes into every single item that we choose. Mm -hmm. So hello. A bit of beat here. This is gonna be my filmer. <laughs> Basically, I've like tried each dress on and then I've taken photos of different things that I would change up and also so I remember which dress it is. I've also written the style up the top there. Well, Kurt tried the style at the top. Um, and then underneath, I've written a whole heap of notes. So I've written like this dress is one that we both know we already really, really love. It doesn't really need much adjusting at all, but I've written notes of what I do actually like about the dress, different things that it has that other dresses don't normally have, then also different things that could be really cute in it. So having it as like a long sleeve for winter, having it off the shoulder, having tie straps, um, all different bits and pieces like that. And then there's like this dress here, which needs a bit of TLC. <laughs> so this one needs lining because it's see-through in the sample, or we need to use a dark print when we choose to go ahead with this style dress. Um, it has adjustable straps, could be cute with off the shoulder sleeves, could be cute in a maxi length rather than a mini. And then as a separate set, so to have like a little cute top and a maxi skirt. And then um, you could also change the sleeves to be tighter sleeves rather than being adjustable because there's not too much going on with the dress. It's very kind of plain. So I feel like that just gives it a little bit more bizarre. Is that the word? Oomph. Oomph. Okay guys, the first sample of the fabric. I was talking to um, a guy who's helping us out with everything that we're doing and he was saying he doesn't think it's quite right. He thinks that he's got another sample in process now, but this is the first sample of the material. Holy, you ready Kat? Look at this. Right. He's saying she's more pink toned, whereas the other ones are more like yellowy toned. Yeah. But I actually don't mind the pink. No. What do you it's think? Yeah. yeah, then just... This is so exciting. Okay, let me just look in the mirror. I think the sizing's really good of like the actual flowers yeah. too. Like I like the size of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. So crazy. This is what it's gonna be. It is so pretty. 
like so pretty I'm pretty bloody happy something is happening but still I know what he's saying so the actual pattern color that we initially said was more of a yellow base background yeah whereas this is more pinky but I wouldn't even mind doing maybe no. both like having one as the other you know background and then one a bit more pinkish it's pretty with the pink pretty in pink oh so pretty stop it I'm so excited <laughs> finally this has been months in the making months so what are we now June Hmm. Almost June, only a few days off, and it's been since March we've had this happening. Three months. My God. <sighs> Crazy. Oh my <laughs> We got it. This is the first sample, so he's done it in a different pan tone as well. So this is more of like a pinky background. Yeah. But it's crazy. I Show the love so much. Here, I'll move back a bit. Oh so you can like. Oh my God. Yes. And see, it says like Love Ellis Rose on the actual. That is like. Do you like it? Pretty. Yeah, I love it. So pretty, it's, hey. It's like so like mind blowing that that's your pattern. Like, it's so crazy. I asked her to redo up some thank you cards for us. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Yeah, okay, sweet. Why she was now every time? I'll show you guys this, Shirini. We've just gotten a sample of our new thank you cards. So basically everything right now is changing. Like every little thing down to our packaging, our like thank you cards, all those pieces um, we're revamping. So go up to a couple emails and you'll see what she's done up. And then she's going to do one with each collections like print in the background. Oh my, oh my So God. then whenever anyone buys that collection, we can put that thank you card in to match with the collection. Oh my god, I love it. So good. Hey, so I'll get enough thank you cards for like the amount of pieces that we're roughly going to do. I just ordered another hat. We've ordered the pink and white. Oh! Yeah, and then the other two are in production of getting done. So we should have like literally 500 and something hats here before we even launch. <laughs> <laughs> but they're just gonna be ready for the collections, you know what I mean? They're just gonna be sitting here ready to go. You need to get a sample done, which takes a 55 days. Then you need to get the production done, which is another 55 days, then six to eight weeks to get them here. So they just take, like it's, um, it's months in advance to get the hats done. So that's why we're like, if we have four here ready to go before we even launch anything, then it, that's gonna be the one thing to hold us up. So at least we're like prepped. And you just always think you'll cover the hat, yeah.